Today we're at the Cheesecake Factory. I've heard so many times throughout life people say, Cheesecake Factory has so many calories, oh my gosh. Let's just try this shit that has like 5,000 calories. Our bodies are craving it. I'm ready to eat good. I know, I'm ready to just like fist, fi put my fist down on the table. I know, I'm ready for some fist action. Pounding the table and beat us. I know, that's, that's what I was thinking when I said fist. My name is Jacob. My name is Lucas. Welcome to the food review of the year. During the end of the video, we're gonna expose how many calories we ate during this lunch. But for now, let's just get on with the journey. It's Lux. It oh. looks Lux. Whether or not it actually is Lux, I'm not sure. Is it cheaply made? I don't know. Mm. Cheesecake Factory's menu is absolutely huge. It's 21 pages. <laughs> When you go to Cheesecake Factory, be prepared to read. All right, look for the thing with the most calories. It's gonna be difficult because a lot of them have 2,000 calories. Oh, let's aim for like something with 3,000 maybe. <laughs> you know, they always say if you get something healthy like a Diet Coke, then you can treat yourself to a 5,000 calorie lunch. It's all about balance. I would rather save my um, belly for actual food. Bread doesn't count as actual food to me. I want the grease that I'm that we're paying money for, not the free bread. Although the bread is great. Ah, oh, look what arrived, honey. Shady, don't mind if you dance on the pole. That'll make you a hoe, shady, I do Mind. In this moment, my stomach was beating. I know stomachs don't even beat, but mine was. It was throbbing. These are the factory nachos, and we got it with spicy chicken. So this appetizer comes to a total of 2,950 calories. We're just getting started, and we're about to munch down 3,000 calories. Slap the table for that. Oh, I'm so jealous watching. <laughs> delicious, I mean. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. I see if I'm watching a mukbang. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I know. I came to a realization that these nachos might be the best nachos to ever touch this earth. They are so good. The, the tortilla chips are thick. They're covered in this little nacho cheese sauce and then all of the layers. Just every time you grab one of the nachos, you don't know what treasure you're about to grab because each, each grab is different. You always run into, run into this thing with nachos where some of the bites are good, some of the bites are bad. With these factory nachos, that's not gonna happen. I was living. How hard on a scale from one to ten? Twelve. <laughs> this is a POV shot. Oh, the cheese is about to rip. Open your mouth, honey. <laughs> While we were munching on this monstrous appetizer, the waitress came, so I ordered the entrees. The three entrees. <laughs> yeah, after we both ordered one entree each, she started to wrap it up and we were like, nope, <laughs> there's another one, honey. <laughs> she said, do you want the lunch portion or the full portion? And oh, we yeah. said, full portion. And she was like, are you sure? We need the entree version. Yeah, we want the huge one. Yeah, you can see a puddle of grease on the nachos. Maybe that's what contributes to them being almost 3,000 calories. That probably is. It looked like it was in pain or pleasure. <laughs> it looks like pain, actually. I think that's the thing about this video. It's like the, the it's just like proving a pain and pleasure mix so perfectly together. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed in us. Jacob had to remind me these will still be here later, so you can eat them later. You know. Did your little meditation moment, and you came back to earth. Yeah, I realized. Oh, right, Jacob's right. They'll still be on the table. No one's taking them. So the entrees arrived. We got the Louisiana chicken pasta. It came in at a whopping two thousand two hundred and seventy calories. Ba bang. This is Parmesan crusted chicken served over pasta with mushrooms, peppers, and onions and a spicy New Orleans sauce. All I have to say is I have had this before. 
I have not. Did it taste very Louisiana to you? I'm pretty sure that's where Britney Spears was born. Either that or Alabama. They're kind of the same vibe. So I had that in mind and I loved it. It reminded me very much of Britney Spears in her childhood, probably. That's why I kept tasting Britney Spears. I was wondering, like, I swear this tastes like me kissing her elbow. And it was like, no, it makes sense. So thanks yeah. for explaining. It was different, but it was good. It was good. Yeah. And I've had it before, like I said, so I knew it was good. It's not the most calorie-dense pasta on the menu for no reason. It, it, the flavor was packing. The pasta is so good. With the chicken, it's kind of like... The chicken isn't really needed, but I get why it's there. Such a little kid thing to say, but I didn't like cutting it up. Oh my god, I forgot that that's what the chicken was like. Yeah, the chicken, that was difficult. And actually, now that now that I remember what the chicken was, I actually did like it. You did like the chicken? Yeah, it's a little deep fat fried thing. Oh, okay. I always love those types of chickens. You don't have to agree with everything I say. I know. We can be on different pages. Okay. It is a big portion. So, I mean, let's just say the 2,000 calories is justified because the portion's big. Your taste buds will be dancing around in excitement with all the creams and stuff. And there's some veggie, veggies. Oh, yeah, that's what made it healthy, which I liked. It's Michelle Obama approved because didn't she want kids to eat healthier? Oh, and, yeah, that was her whole thing. Yeah, and we are kids and we're eating healthier. Mom and dad, we're good kids. I knew I wanted to make a Facebook album out of this event. Let's take some photos so I can upload them to my Facebook album. So all of our cousins and aunts and uncles can comment on the photos and see, oh, that's what Lucas and Jacob are up to today. <laughs> hey! Next up, the chicken parmesan sandwich, which is 1,960 calories. But then you add a side of fries that comes with it, which adds another 530 calories, which equals, pull up the calculator. I think I can do this math by myself this time. Well, I'm proud of you. 1,490 calories total. It actually equals 2,490 calories. Okay, let's just, let's just let this one go over. Let's move on with the video. So this chicken parmesan sandwich is described as tender chicken lightly coated in parmesan breadcrumbs, tomato sauce, and melted cheese on a freshly grilled French roll. Before we even eat it, I should say that I had this literally two weeks ago. I wasn't aware it was one of the highest calorie things on the menu, but nonetheless, it's delicious. This is turning high, just means that one half is a thousand calories. That's crazy, actually. I would never be harsh like <laughs> but, uh, but don't take my word for it. Let's see what Lucas says. It might be the total opposite of me. This was the first flop of the lunch for me. I didn't like it. Oh, damn. It's going to fall apart. <laughs> Where do I start? I know. It's it's all up to you. I actually liked the bread. It was those hard types of breads. I just felt stressed eating it. There's so much chicken that it felt like it was falling apart. I couldn't get a satisfying bite. I honestly couldn't. It was impossible. I didn't like it. But... I enjoyed the fries because I love just a good, boring fry. Nothing special about it at all. Dipped in ketchup. With the fries for me, I was like, these fries are boring. Some of them are cold. You know, I get why they have the fries because it's a sandwich and fries. Classic. I love boring fries, though. I love these. I really like them. Mm. You guys damn though? I love these type of fries. I didn't really expect the fries to be that good, so I wasn't disappointed. By this point, we'd been at the restaurant for maybe about half an hour, and I think everyone got grossed out by our general vibe, so our area of the restaurant did clear out. We now had this whole entire gazebo thing to ourselves, and we were rocking out. I was fine with it because it felt like we kinda hadn't got a private room. I know, like we were Warren Buffett or some shit. Oh yeah, because he lives in Omaha and we were in Omaha. Oh yeah, you know. You think he was know. at the when we were there? No, because else he would have had this private room. That's true. Or do you think they gave a test over him? They did. I did go back to the Louisiana pasta. I wanted to taste a little bit more Britney Spears. <laughs> hey! And then we decided to get the barbecue chicken ranch salad because it's 1,980 calories. How is a salad that much? I just, I had to taste it to find out the tea. Yeah, because people always say salads are so healthy. So, you know, it's pretty ironic that it's 2,000 oh, calories. Even looking at it, like, what is in it that would cause that? It has to be the barbecue sauce. Yeah, I don't, that, that must be some good ass barbecue sauce. This barbecue ranch chicken salad right here is avocado, tomato, grilled corn, black beans, cucumber, and romaine, all tossed with our barbecue ranch dressing. And it's also topped with crispy fried onion strings for some crunch. We're supposed to start the meal with salad. We do stuff a little <laughs> bit backwards around here. <laughs> Make our own rules. Literally. 
You want me to mix it? Sorry, I already am. No, I didn't even know it had onion rings on it, but I was taking like my fifth bite and I was like, Wait, there's onion rings in here? Like, yeah. they they popped off with that. I mixed up the salad all together, and I do got to say, this was a great-ass salad. It's just refreshing, and it hit. It tasted like the Panera Bread barbecue salad, just better. I need to try it. Let's switch. Mm. I love a good saucy salad, and Lucas mixed it. Congrats on mixing it, because every bite was just... Loaded with sauce. Do you wanna know what a hack is? What? Getting a salad, sharing it with someone, and then getting one of these dishes because you think about it this. Sodium overload. Even what? though this Audi has so much sodium, it feels like it doesn't. I know, it's just vegetables. Thank you very much. I feel like it would have even hit harder if we had it before all the other greasy food, but it still hit even after all the greasy food. Yeah, and I mean, I love how they didn't include any actual leafy greens because that would have took oh. away from the waddle moisturizing factor. Like since it's only romaine lettuce, you just bite in it, it feels like you're biting into an ice cube. But if there was spinach in it, you'd get a little Ugh. bit bit on this and it's like, <sighs> Mommy, don't make me eat it. I hate spinach. Like that type of thing. And I'll send it back to the kitchen. Yeah. So wait, just get over here. What Take is this? The spinach. What's this, kale and spinach? Get out of my face. But we didn't have to do that because it didn't yeah. have spinach. <sighs> It's getting to that time of the meal where you have to unbutton your pants. You know you're having a good time at a restaurant when the pants get unbuttoned. Now, I was joking. Um... These pants are actually like the type of pants where um, they already are stretchy in the back. So the button does jack shit. But I thought it was a funny joke, Dad, and I hope you had giggled. Jacob set up this cute little aesthetic shot of us. And it was funny because the waitress approached the table, but then she saw the camera out and she was like, oh, but, oh, never mind. I'll come back. Came back later and was like, yeah, I didn't want to be in your guys' movie. She was like, yeah, I don't want to be in the video, though. I don't want right, to be seen with you guys. Don't put me in it. Don't even mention me. Don't look at me, actually. I will sue if you do. But then I had to stop filming because I was giggling my my butt cheeks off because <laughs> Lucas mentioned <laughs> the waitress was probably thinking, wait, why does anyone watch their videos? All they're doing is eating. <laughs> I know. Like <laughs> and I just couldn't handle the fact that someone might have thought that. And it was just so hilarious to me. Yeah, because whenever she saw us filming, we're literally sitting there, no talking going on, just eating in front of a camera. She's probably, yeah, she probably was like, this seems like the shittiest content ever. But she doesn't know we do all these voice voiceovers, editing, like lights, cameras, action. It's a lot, and, and, and I want to break down. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Just JK. Honestly, if somebody did just have a channel where they silently ate at different restaurants, I actually think it would do really good. That is grease. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were done munching, so we had to take the after selfie for Lucas's Facebook photo album. Yeah, I wanted this one to be more like badass, sort of flexing in a way, saying like, yeah, it's a regular Tuesday lunch and like, we ordered a lot of food. Of course, if what the Cheesecake Factory, we have to get Cheesecake. I don't usually get Cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory, but today's an occasion. Can I get the red velvet cheesecake? The book is being closed, it's done. We had so much leftovers, so we got like six to-go boxes. I just had to have our mom and dad try the most calorie meals from Cheesecake. Juan, it's so bothered to see our mom's face when she tries the 3,000 calorie nachos. Yes, my hands touched every single nacho because <laughs> i that's the only way I could get these nachos in a to-go box. I, I was impressed that you were even able to do that transportation. It was stressful, but it was okay. While Jacob was packing up the food, the cheesecake arrived. And as the waitress set it down at our table, she let us know, you guys, you're in for a treat. This isn't just any ordinary cheese cheesecake. It's so good. She said the cream cheese is just immaculate. So we were so excited and ready to eat it. We got the ultimate red velvet cake cheesecake. Came in at 1,580 calories. Wait, I can eat the first bite? Oh, of course. Thank you. <laughs> But this red velvet cheesecake actually was so good. Okay, I'm not even joking. I was expecting to be like, it's good. But when I tried it, I'm pretty sure that was my first time. Okay, there's vaginal orgasms, penile <laughs> orgasms. People uh, claim those plastic orga <laughs> orgasms, but I don't think there's enough research behind it. But I think I had a mouth orgasm. Yeah, I feel like was, I had a mental orgasm. Not mental. I guess, yeah, just a tongue orgasm. 
we finished like half of it. <laughs> Which is what I, like a thousand calories. <laughs> it's so easy to eat. Like if you ever want to gain weight for a movie role or something for all the actors <laughs> watching, like um, to eat the cheesecake. It's so easy to eat. And like you would think that after eating all this, you wouldn't want cheesecake, but you almost need it. So much salt is in your body. You're like, I just need something sweet. The big bill came and it was $97.45. I'm not going to say that is, isn't a lot, but I was expecting it to be more because Cheesecake Factory is... A little bit above Applebee's and Chili's. It is above Applebee's and Chili's. Also, we did tip, just so you know. It felt so good walking out of Cheesecake Factory knowing that all of the food we bought added up to 11,270 calories. I just ran up the calculations and that means that 100 calories at Cheesecake Factory is 86 cents. This is my version of a, of a material goal. I'm a material glow! Thanks for coming along. Goodbye, Zs. Peace out.